Alright, so let's see what is in here. So we've got the bulb. That room's a bit of a mess at the moment. We got the bulb. We've got the light strips. Now tune in later for when I start setting this all up. Let's just say the room's about to get more lit. Yo, 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 it's your boy King K, and this is the proper intro to the video that you're watching. So, obviously, you know, this is going to be a whole like self makeover, and this is just a little beginning bit because something has come today. Because in this box over here, and we're going to go open this up together. My camera is on low battery, so if it does die, I'm going to recharge and carry on the video. But let's just get into the opening. Okay, so we switched over to the, this camera because the other camera battery died. So, basically, I'm gonna do a little unboxing. So yeah, if the camera angle looks a bit more zoomed in than usual, it's because I haven't used this camera in a while, but I know that I can use this camera now for what is in this box. So maybe some of you guys already know, but by the time this video goes out, you will see. So we're gonna start from where the corners are. Okay, that's that. And now, Packaging is very secure. I don't know if you guys can see, but the packaging is very secure. And by that, you really see what is in the box. So, we have got the new MacBook 2020 uh, right in here, actually. All right, so we've got the new MacBook in here. So, this is going to now be a game changer for the videos. And if you guys do not know, I've been waiting for this for the longest because obviously I've said for almost a whole year now, it almost has been a full year. This laptop over here, this laptop over here has currently just been giving me all the problems. So let's just unbox this and see what it has inside. I've actually never ever ordered an Apple computer product before, but that just peels off like butter. Oh my God, it's so smooth. I'm so scared to be holding this right now. This is like quite a lot to be holding. Okay. I'm gonna have to just open this so you can't see. I don't want this to drop because you know how Apple boxes are. The box is now off. The space gray, if you guys did not already know, I want to be very careful with. As you can see, we've got the MacBook here. Just a nice, simple 13 inch MacBook Air 2020. Sleek, small, slick design. Very good. I'm gonna use this for productivity, so doing my editing and everything. It should be a lot more efficient and easier now. Um, but yeah, it should be a lot more easier now to be doing the kind of stuff that I've been trying to bring to you guys a lot more so there'll be higher production videos I'm trying to do my best when it comes to editing you guys probably didn't already know I've been editing all my videos on my iPad right here like honestly I'm gonna try and step up the game for you guys like I used to before but let's just you know open this and set it up so the plastic has been removed and we've got the cable the power brick and all of that so we've got it here let's just open it and see what it says oh wow I like that they've even gone and put a little protective cover over it let's just peel this off nice sleek slick product here like I'm very excited if you guys cannot tell I've actually never had an Apple product it looks so modern and nice the speakers the keys I'm just gonna gently put this down just move this one out the way not to show that we didn't care about where I started from because this is actually what started it all is the main language press the return key fam it's even speaking to me that's when you know it's something but anyways so never forget where you came from guys this is what started off most of my channel and got me to where I am now and also a big shout out to Ethan you already know on the edits he's been you know taken on part whilst I haven't actually been able to myself but over the past couple of months I've been doing the editing but what he is going to be doing now if you go over because someone asked me where's the gaming videos now if you want to see gaming videos I've got top link in the description there's going to be a gaming channel so if you guys go over to subscribe Ethan's going to now actually be editing the videos on that channel so if you guys like gaming content top link in the description will be my new channel I just need to do a thing like new banner new channel art new all of that and then we'll be back with some bangers but let's go gently put this I'll move this over here Let's just move the camera over here so I can set it up. 
And yeah, so if you guys weren't already aware, this is a whole little, little sub makeover series. So I've got all of the lighting kits ready. But the reason why I have not set them up yet is because I'm waiting for a few more things like cable management and uh, some extension cables so I can sort out over there, which you guys cannot see. It might go in the video if I sort that bit out. It's already tidy, it's just about, you know, so I can use stuff. So this has been today's part for the video. Obviously, this is a kind of whole project video so you're gonna see the next day in this if that makes sense it's weird me explaining it but you guys will understand when you see it but I hope you guys have enjoyed this bit and I'll see you all when I next pick up the camera okay guys so we're actually gonna set up the lights now as you can see we've got the LEDs and we've got the Philips bulb this is just a normal warm light bulb before you get excited because it's gonna replace this one up here so I can just voice control it and everything. As you can see I've got myself in the background, I've got this camera set up over here and I've got this camera over here which I think I'm gonna probably try and use for the more visual stuff but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just take everything off the desk so you can put the LEDs on. The reason I'm recording today now and finally I'm recording is because my zip ties did just come in today. It took three days from when I got the computer between now and then to, for these to come. This Obviously, let, let me not get into that, but okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a time lapse now and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so just as I was recording the video, my extension cable did come, so now I can actually finish off the whole video as I was planning to do. And let's get back into the timing. So the main part of my desk is now empty as you can see all I need to do is just a few more little touches I have to get the setup of the desk so obviously this is easier to do because obviously I'm cable managing so enjoy the rest and I'll show you when I'm starting to set up the LEDs The desk is completely empty, all I need to do is just wash it off a bit, but my one mini worry is these desks I got separately, as in they're not attached to each other, and sometimes they like to move around a little bit, it's not too major as long as I keep them close, but I'm just worried for the LEDs and how they're going to sit, but yeah we're almost done, so making good progress. Okay, and now we're on to the smaller camera, if you guys can't tell. And here's just a closer view of the desk, so it's a lot more cleaner than it was before. The slight thing that I'm thinking about is how I'm going to put the LEDs on, as um, around here there isn't too much space. I'm going to have to move my desk a bit more forward, which I didn't really want to plan on doing. And then also, it's going to be trying to attach them from the back, which is going to be quite awkward. But we'll see what we can make do with and just, I guess, wish me luck. Alright, so I've devised how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start like just one strip at a time. So, this is why I'm a bit worried. Let's open this. Let me sit down for this one. Alright, let's open this up. So, here's the power brick, which this is one thing I'm going to have to not worry about, but just secure. I'm very happy with the laptop I've got now. I should be able to bring better content to you guys um, along the way. So,. Okay, I'm going to set this strip up before I plug it in so I know I'm happy with it because I've also, as you guys are aware, I've got the extension which I got quite a while ago actually. Um, 
and I just need to figure out. Does it? I was very scared there to do this because I didn't know how secure it is, but you can bridge them straight in. I'm gonna quickly take this out. Okay, so the strip is pretty much done. My camera, this camera actually is on very low battery. So I'm going to switch back to this one. So you should probably see a transition now. Okay, so the camera's probably looking hella different. You can actually see all the details in the room. So as you can see now, as you can see now, um, we have got everything set up. All I need to do now is plug in the bridge. As you can see it actually currently works, it looks insane, it's actually messing up the lighting on my face until I do this. Um, I think I'm going to quickly just set up in the app. Okay, so now the lights are set up, you can obviously see my laptop there, the desk is absolutely empty. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Philips Hue app, that's what I need to do, the Philips Hue app, and connect them first. I'm going to connect these and then I'm going to connect the light up there. Okay, so it took a long, long time to do this, but now everything should be in sync. Okay, look, so as you can see, we've got Sunset Savannah, which controls this light behind me and the light away. Let me just put, turn the lights off so you get the full effect. Obviously, you can't see me now, it's a bit of a sticky one. Let's not shed too much light on that, but look, um, we've got Tropical Twilight, which, oh, this is insane. Everything's looking lit, guys. Um, literally, I can just pick a color and then the whole room is in a mood. I usually leave it on purple, like pinky, because it's kind of it complements the red in my room, and it also looks really nice. Blue looks very nice, but it makes my curtains stand out. We're just gonna scroll through. Like I can't actually put it on a cycle. I don't think I can experiment with the app, but we're gonna leave it on pink for now. Oh, we don't want to turn that off. And yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna get back into setting everything up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But we're gonna go set this up now. So. I'm gonna turn it, I don't know how this is gonna go, you know. Um, oh, it works. Um, it's a lot warmer than the old light, but now, if we search for a device. So the light set up, it's literally strictly just a white warm light, which is good. So if I go, Alexa, turn off all the lights. Okay. Everything's on, but if I go, Alexa, turn on desk light and Hugo. Okay. I just realized something that's going to confuse me. I can turn this light off like that, and I think I can also turn it off like that. So that could get a bit confusing, but guess, look, do you see there's a little delay when I do it? No, Alexa, turn off ceiling light. Okay. Alexa, turn on ceiling light. Okay. See, it kind of worries me because it... There's a little delay, etc. Oh no, I can't see, I'm so stupid. But yeah, I think I should just manually turn it on and off, but use it to dim. Get the most, forget the most important thing, which is actually zip tying everything. So, a progression of my setup, kind of little montage right here. Right, now we're moving down. See, it's come a long way, so we're gonna set up everything now. Oh, no. oh, no. 
people with experience that can give me kits or anything I can use. Like I understand there's things like cable boxes and the Signum rack and all of that. If any of you guys can give me any pointers explaining how to cable management better, I will take that on for the next video. Alright, so I set up most of this stuff. The cables are not the greatest, but I've done my best to do what I can. But I will start doing the zip ties now. There is a lot of cables right behind the monitors that I can't really hide and they need to be in that position so they route correctly. Sorry if this video has been quite long, I just, it's a lot to go through, it's a big project. Okay, so I'd like to thank you guys all for watching that video. That has been my setup progression. You guys are probably wondering where the setup tour is. So this video has been getting quite long and I apologize for that. It's actually been a little bit of a stress to try and cut it down for it to be short enough. But if you guys want the setup video, smash 50 likes on this video. The setup video will be coming out straight after this video. When I say that, I mean tomorrow. So Tuesday for you guys. But currently this video is dropping on Monday. It's complicated, but yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe. It takes three seconds. It's quick and it's easy. Add up my socials, which will be in the description. And I uh, thank you guys all for watching and peace out.